Preparing Bid Documents Before we start preparing the paperwork for packages, let us examine the essential ingredient of bid documents. A package as part of the bigger EPCM project, engineering, procurement, construction, management, and is based on specifications. The ingredients of specifications are based on the outcome of the front-end engineering design, feed. This is the initial assessment of the project identifying alternatives. The basis of design, BOD, based on feed result, also called basic design which tells you about the applicable codes and standards, the overall design philosophy, design life, etc. The applicable construction codes and standards that you should comply with is the law of the land and is mandatory. The location where the equipment used, considering corrosion allowance over design life, selecting the most suitable material to resist environmental corrosion, the type of process fluid and the performance requirement in order to select the right type of construction material against process corrosion. Specifications should comply with applicable construction codes and standards as a minimum and also specify the acceptance criteria. For example, welding specification for pressure vessel should be compliant with ASME Section 5 for how to perform the NDE examination but the NDE acceptance criteria should be according to ASME 8, Pressure Vessel Construction Code. Specifications shall be included in the bid documents so the potential supplier or manufacturer knows what he should be complying with. The procedures, WPS, NDE, test and QC procedures, is then prepared by the supplier and approved by the client once purchase order is awarded. These procedures shall be complying with the applicable specification enclosed within bid documents that eventually called purchase order once the contract is signed between the purchaser and supplier. For example, the fabricator would prepare a WPS, welding procedure specification, that should comply with client's specification for welding, reviewed and approved by the client. For more tips, visit inspector-training.com.